an early morning cycle through picturesque Cape Town. Only this is not a leisurely ride. A group of cyclists set off from Johannesburg three weeks ago. Some 1,800 kilometres later, they're in Cape Town. The point of the whole thing? To raise awareness for cyclists stay alive at 1.5 metres, a project that urges motorists to pass cyclists with a safe berth. The whole initiative is basically aimed at trying to save lives on the road, roads in South Africa. Far too many cyclists have been killed on the roads and maimed, of course. And that's a great concern for us. Internationally, the 1.5 metre rule or legislation is there to protect the cyclists. And all we want is South Africa to come in line with the rest of the world of 1.5 and the cyclist stays alive. Among those who made the arduous journey to Cape Town was Cherie Stander, a professional cyclist and the wife of former Olympic cyclist Burry Stander, who was killed when he collided with a taxi while on a training ride. For Cherise, who was with Burry at the time of the tragedy, the return to cycling has been understandably demanding. It's very emotional and like I said, I'm still struggling to get back on my bike. It's, not, it's an ongoing battle that I'm fighting every day, but I do have a love for this sport. Um, I want to get it back. I want to get the feeling of freedom back and that is why, why I am here and why I am supporting this foundation and why I will keep on fighting this foundation. South Africa is ranked as one of the world's worst for road fatalities, with more than 12,000 people killed in road accidents last year alone. Amongst that figure are hundreds of cyclists. Cherise and the rest of the campaign group desperately hope that they can galvanise the public into having greater awareness on the road. There's people in places that I never knew existed that knew about the accidents and that asked how they can help and what they can do from their part. Um, to help and I just think you know Barry left such an amazing legacy behind and it's up to us to keep it to keep it alive and to keep fighting for the sport that he loved and the sport that we loved. It's obviously hard to say whether this initiative will bring a lasting change and make the roads in South Africa safer but the death of Barry Stander has really hit a nerve and if there is a positive to come out of that tragedy this could be it. Dan Williams CCTV Cape Town.